Peggy 16. Sega. The Napoleonic Age. A time of epic land battles and naval engagements, of political unrest and widespread revolution. An era defined by one legendary general. Hi, I'm Kieran Brigden, Studio Communications Manager at the Creative Assembly, the development team behind Napoleon Total War. There are two game modes in Napoleon Total War, Story Mode and Campaigns of the Coalition. Story Mode follows the life of Napoleon Bonaparte in three theatres of war, Italy, Egypt and Europe. As a general on the battlefield, he will be crucial in boosting the morale of his troops and rallying his routing units. However, in multiplayer, you can also play as one of Napoleon's opposing forces, Austria, Britain, Prussia, Russia and the Ottomans in Egypt. The campaigns of the coalition allow you to play as one of four major factions starting your European campaign in 1805. For their humiliations and losses during the Italian campaign, the Austrians are waiting for an opportunity to strike back at France, to regain their lost lands and expand their empire to greater glories. Finding allies will be key to Emperor Francis I's revenge. With Napoleon having successfully angered most of Europe, Great Britain has an opportunity to build new alliances. Using the mighty Royal Navy to keep Britain safe from invasion, they will need to build a substantial army and seek continental allies to ultimately contribute to the downfall of France. But will Napoleon leave them enough time to gather their forces? It seems Prussia are content to sit and wait, but for how long? Threatened by Napoleon's expanding empire and with the growing anger and agitation of Great Britain and Austria, Frederick William III faces both danger and opportunity. Having recovered from the assassination of Tsar Paul in 1801, Russia now contemplates a new war against France, as the threat from Napoleon has never been so great. Tsar Alexander could profit from an alliance with the British and other major European nations, but his key advantage will remain that of time and space. No invader from the West can comprehend the emptiness of the steppes, deal with the vast distances of Russia, or survive its cruel winters. Thank you for watching. Sega. The Napoleonic Age. A time of epic land battles and naval engagements, of political unrest and widespread revolution. An era defined by one legendary general. Hi, I'm Kieran Brigden, Studio Communications Manager at the Creative Assembly, where the next in our strategy series, Napoleon Total War, is being developed. In Napoleon, there are numerous improvements to existing features, but also brand new ones, never seen before in a Total War game. There are three separate campaigns, each with a campaign map displaying all four seasons for the first time. Here we see Europe in spring, summer, autumn and winter. Both the campaign and battle maps will use new environmental effects and include new gameplay features, such as the campaign map attrition system. By concentrating on specific areas of Europe and the Middle East, we've been able to include a greater level of terrain detail, with mountain passes, rivers and valleys modelled in a tactical detail not previously seen. The structure of the game also differs from previous Total War titles. If you want to play a classic campaign as a nation other than France, that's available in the Campaigns of the Coalition mode. However, the major focus is the story-driven mode, where you endeavour to lead Napoleon to glory through three challenging campaigns, Italy, 
Egypt, and Europe. You can even take command in Napoleon's major engagements, leading your troops in such epic battles as Austerlitz and Waterloo. These are available outside the story mode as standalone battles, either in a single player game or multiplayer with your friends. Gameplay wise, there are some really exciting additions. We've included new diplomatic options, like the request to break an alliance with a rival, or for a trade embargo to be put in place against a third party nation. In naval battles, damaged ships can now be repaired, extending their lifetime but leaving them vulnerable to attack. And in land battles, the new general's abilities will be crucial, as they can not only boost the morale of troops in close proximity, but also directly inspire a selected unit, or rally tired troops routing from the field. The multiplayer experience reaches a new level with drop-in battles, and the eagerly anticipated multiplayer campaigns. Drop-in battles enable you to fight a human opponent within a single-player campaign. You can either fight against another player in their campaign battles, or have the option to request a human opponent take command of the opposing army in your campaign. And with the multiplayer campaigns, Napoleon's struggle for power in Italy, Egypt and Europe can be played against a human opponent. This feature is a major leap forward in the series and will take the total war multiplayer experience to the next level.